Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas, and welcome to Green Power Science. Today, we're gonna be using a Fresnel lens, like the large ones that we have over here, but not that big. We're gonna be making a knife that started with this original right here. And this is the one that he actually molded. This is larger scale metal foundry using a lower temperature metal like zinc. The lens that we're gonna be using is one that we made using a process that we'll be showing you in future videos. The difference to this lens is that it takes the optical part of it and converts it into more of a solar application. The cool thing about zinc is that it's got a low melting point. And it does not have to be extremely hard for a lot of cutting applications. If you're prying something, you probably want steel, but we're gonna be casting a larger amount of metal with this. This lens is only 24 inches by 24 inches squared, which is about one third the total collection area of the larger lens behind us here. The reason that this smaller lens works versus the larger lenses like we have behind us has to do with the optics of it. This is like a crystal clear spot lens. And you've made that completely. We ma I made that completely. This is from scratch. So it it's has some, it has some imperfections, but those imperfections don't really matter when you're melting or casting metal. It does whatever the sun decides to do with concentrated sunlight. So we're gonna be showing you how to make a large knife like this. In previous videos, we showed you how to make a small key, but that's Heavy. a small amount of metal. Solid. This weighs approximately 20 ounces. Uh, it's, it's, it's heavy. So to make a plaster mold of this knife, we need dimensions that are 16 inches this way to give us room around the blade by about four and a half to five inches by about two inches deep, because we're not doing this in three dimension. We're only doing it in a two dimensional pour be scoring a box that would be 16 5 by 3. Very easily do that. I'm putting just enough pressure on the knife so that I'm not exactly cutting all the way through. Scoring my lines up. All the sides are scored. I'm going to go ahead and attach this side together first. A little bit of glue. So you're looking for something that has like a little open casket type of deal. And this knife fits perfectly inside the box. So I'm going to be making my mixture with the plaster of Paris. Normally it's two to one. We need it to be thicker, so I'm going to be going three to one. Three cups of the plaster of Paris to one cup of water. Once I'm at this point, we have to do this fast before the curing process begins. You're going to notice it's thicker like icing rather than the normal consistency. We wanted it to be a nice thick solution. Okay, I have to really work fast. I'm going to be got pounding this down on the table. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's it's leveling it out perfectly. I am ready to put this in very carefully. And the reason why we have the plaster thicker is so it doesn't sink all the way through. And we only need half of the mold. Boo Boo, what do you have on your back? You're going to so regret this. This cured so fast, within 15-20 minutes, we're ready to take it out. And I'm going to use a screw, flat, flathead screwdriver and pry it up and out without doing much damage to the mold. There we go. So now we need to clean the mold out a little bit. There's all these little remnants. I'm going to, any residue. I'm going to be using the screwdriver to clean up and make more of an indention around the, the knife. I'm peeling the cardboard and I am going to expect a cracking where that weakest point was in the center. Well, this is it. This is what we're using for our mold. There's some cracks, but it's, it is completely functional. This Fennel lens is heating up the zinc that we're going to be pouring into the mold. We're waiting for it to melt into like a, a liquid.
So Denise got a mold that looks something like this. We're gonna take this saw and we're gonna cut down the extra parts. And So this is the copy that Denise and I made of that knife and this is the original using a plaster mold and zinc. In future videos we'll be showing you how to do larger volumes of steel using a hybrid of a air induction wood burning furnace using solar power and vent fans. Wow. This is how you do it with low temperature zinc. It's a very good project. I thought it was a great project. I'm your host Dan Rojas. I'm Denise Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. Better. Don't don't hurt, don't cut your fingers off. Close, close. Here, show her, Robbie. Show me, Rob. Can you do it? Oh. Shit. Okay, that was too much fling. Hold on. What? No, the what? The proper way is you, you figure out the turn. So so if you're this far away, so we're here, so we go. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Ouch.